Hi, third graders. So this week, um, we are doing place value. And in um, our first video, we're going to talk about comparing. I, actually, we're going to talk about comparing in all of the videos. But this time, we're going to talk about comparing using specifically what we learned about place value last week. You've been comparing for forever. Really, all comparing means is to tell how things are different, is something greater or something less than something else. But before we get into the specifics of this math lesson, I want to show you something that you're going to encounter in your um, assignment. So you have a Google slideshow that I created for you, again, uh, with a couple different sections. But the first thing I want you to know is that I know not everybody watches the math videos. I know not everybody watches Mrs. Quartz reading videos and Mrs. Wishart's writing videos. And that's a problem because we give a lot of directions, but we also teach the lesson. If we were in class, we wouldn't just give you work to do without teaching you how to do it. Unfortunately, we can't be in class, so we're trusting that you're going to watch the videos. So this week I thought I would do something fun to encourage you to watch the videos. And it's going to be part of your assignment. So. In the Google slideshow, you're going to come across three slides that look like this. Now, they might have different graphics on them, but they essentially all say the same thing, which is, I'll know you watched this video if you can give me the secret code word. Type it in the box below. The secret code word for this video is. So you have three videos this week, which means you're collecting three code words. So while you're taking notes in today's video, at some point I'm going to say, stop write down this code word, you'll need it in your slideshow. That doesn't mean stop watching the video, go to the slideshow and type it in. It means jot it down. And when you go to do that assignment, you will have it. I'm not always going to do the code word at any a specific time because I want to make sure that you're watching and listening for it. So your goal is to make sure you know all three of the code words so that you can do the assignment. So there will be one in each video. Okay, so let's get into comparing. Like I said, comparing is when we look at two different values and we determine if one is greater, one is less, or if they're exactly worth the same thing. We did that a little bit with fractions the other day. So here's the thing. I know that at some point everybody was taught that the alligator eats the greater number or the bigger number. And you probably had a teacher teach you to put little teeth in there to remind you that the alligator eats the greater number. That's not wrong. It does. However, you have to know that these two symbols are different. This one is called the greater than symbol, and this one is called the less than symbol. That's important because we read always from left to right. We read from left to right in books. We read from left to right on billboards. We read from left to right on TV captions. And we read from left to right in math. So a lot of times you'll see an inequality, which is just an equation that's not necessarily equal, that might look like this. And you would say, because you're reading from left to right, 9 is greater than 4. And you would probably all get that one right. Except if I rewrote that exact same inequality, like this, if you read that as 9 is greater than 4, it would be wrong. Because that's not what that says. This says, because you have to read from left to right, 4 is less than 9. Ultimately, mathematically, those mean the same thing. But you have to be able to read it both ways. And you have to be able to understand it both ways. So... We're going to practice that some today. We're going to use these symbols the correct way. We're going to start always reading from left to right. And we're going to use place value to help us do that work. So, like I said, we've done this in younger grades with way simpler values. We learned that 2 is less than 6. Like I said, we don't get to read this as 6 is greater than 2 because the 2 comes first in the equation. Therefore, it is 2 is less than 6. We learned that we could compare two-digit numbers with one-digit numbers, and we know that 18 is greater than 7. We also learned that if it's exactly the same, we would read that as 4 is equal to 4, because it's worth the same. They're equal. We can do this with bigger numbers. 
We do it going digit by digit, starting on the left side. I hope you write that down. Digit by digit, starting on the left side and using what we know about place value. So I'm gonna start on the left. That's gonna be all the way over here. And I'm gonna say this four, it's not really a four. Last week we learned the value of that four is 400. And then I'm gonna look over here at the left side of my second number, which is right here. And I'm gonna say, okay, this is a two, but it's not really a two, it's a 200. I actually don't need to look at the rest of the number now. Since 400 is greater than 200, 437 is greater than 259. Now here's why it's super duper important that we always start on the left. The common mistake that kids have is that they always start in the ones place. Because I know that we taught you when you're adding and subtracting, you start in the ones place. When you compare, you don't. You start all the way to the left. Because if you started in the ones place on this number, you would have compared it incorrectly because you would say, oh, nine is greater than seven. So seven is less than nine and you would have done this. And that would have been wrong. Think about it like it's money. When it, you know, honestly, when I'm teaching fractions, I talk a lot about pizza and cake. But when I'm talking about numbers, I talk a lot about money because money makes it real. Would you rather have $437 or 259? I know I'd rather have 437 because it's more even though this one has a nine. So don't fall into that trap. That's not true. Those numbers are not what we're comparing. We're starting on the left side. We only need to move over if we end up with the same thing. So let's look at what we've got here. I'm gonna start on the left side. This is 500. So I'm going over to my other number. This is 500. Right now, they look the same. 500 is equal to 500. So I'm gonna move over one place. This is 20 and this is 80. I don't need to look further. 20 is less than 80. So 529 is less than 586. Let's go down another one. Starting on the left side, this is worth 2000. So is this. So, so far, they look exactly the same to me. I'm gonna move over one place value to the hundreds place. The four is worth 400, mm, but so is this one, also worth 400. So still, I can't tell. So go over another place. That's a nine in the tens place. Nine tens is 90. Eight tens is 80. Now I can compare, they're different. 90 is greater than 80. So 2,497 is greater than 2,482. Do you see how I started kind of in the biggest place value all the way to the left and I said, okay, that one doesn't really help me. They look the same. That one doesn't really help me. They look the same. But now I have digits I can compare, but I have to do it by following a logical method where I start on the left and go over digit by digit. Now, a place value chart can also help me. I think I made a mistake. I lost a slide maybe. Oh well. Place value charts can help me as well. So if I look at this place value chart, I can input my numbers to help me. So over here, I kind of used what I knew about expanded notation or expanded form. Here, I'm just gonna look at the digits. So I'm gonna put my numbers in there. I'm gonna go in order. So since this is my first number, I'm gonna put that one in first. That is 726. And then I'm gonna look at my next number, which is 7,260. Now here's the deal. If there's nothing there, I can, it's a zero, right? There's, it's nothing. So I'm gonna start all the way to the left, first column in my chart. And I'm gonna say, which is greater, zero or seven? Seven is. So that means 726 is less than 7,260. I threw that one in there as a, as a trick, right? Because if you just looked and you said seven and seven, you go, oh, those are equal, right? Are these numbers really equal? Do you wanna have $726 or 7,260? I'll take 7,000 over 700 any day. Okay, let's do it again. 
So now I have 872, 4,931. This is another one of those no-brainers. That's a zero. There's nothing there. So it's less. Oh, okay. 4,817 compared to 4,814. So I'm going digit by digit. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go like this. These are the same. So they kind of cancel each other out. They don't matter. These are the same. So they don't really matter either. These are the same. So they don't really matter. If I look at this, 7 is greater than 4. So 4,817 is greater than 4,814. Okay, so that's it for our practice for today. Your first section in your Google Slideshow is just going to be comparing numbers digit by digit. That's all you've got to do using place value charts and then just practicing some problems like I did back here. I would encourage you to use scratch paper while you're working, especially on the, um, the slides that don't already have the place value chart there for you, where you can either draw a place value chart on your scratch paper or you could do what I did here with expanded form and kind of write out the value of the digits to help you. Okay, so I promised you a secret code word. I'm going to write it down for you so you can put it in your notes. Today I'm having it at the end of this video. It won't always be, but your secret code word today is compare. So when you get to the slide that asks you for your secret code word at the end of section one, that word is compare. Okay, so I want you to sign off right now. I want you to go to your Google Slides and I want you to do section one and then you're going to come back here. Adios, third graders.